Hey everybody and a welcome back to another vlog. Today we are actually leaving the house so I will have something to vlog. Um, today is actually supposed to be soccer practice and um, hockey but I got a text last night, not a text, an email last night and it was from um, the app we use through Riley Soccer and it said soccer practice had been canceled today. No explanation from the coaches, no explanation on the email, it just said practice has been canceled. And I went to the app and looked and sure enough, they took it out. So I'm not really sure what happened unless the coaches just couldn't be there today. Um, I checked the weather like is it supposed to rain or something? But no, there's no rain in the forecast. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. But um, yeah, Riley's soccer practice got canceled. Not that it's a big deal, but I just hate it for her because I know she was kind of looking forward to going. Um, but Aiden does still have hockey tonight. But we're starting this vlog a little late. It's like almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But you guys, it's taking me that long to like get dressed this morning. I need to kind of explain to you what happened and what's been going on. So I had noticed my tape had started peeling around my incision on my stomach. And I was like, okay, you know, I've got to change it at the three week mark. They want you to take it off and change it and um, put new tape on. So I was like, oh, I know it's coming up, no big deal. Uh, about a day ago, I want to say, I noticed it started peeling up, lifted it up, and it had like, it was dried like blood, not gonna be gross, TMI, but it also had like a greenish tint something on it. I was like, oh my gosh, is it infected? So now I'm freaking out. So I sent them a picture of that and also at the top I have like a I have a pleat on my stomach that's kind of deep. Um, it's softening up I can tell but it's still deep and um, right by that pleat down about this big of a section kind of towards the middle of my stomach like it has started lifting the tape really bad there so I lifted it up and looked and it looked like it was infected in there and I was like oh my gosh but I haven't felt bad no fevers no chills I emailed in to the clinic team and the clinical team I told them that you know this is what's been going on these are my pictures what do you suggest and I also think I have a pocket of fluid like right here um, I feel like it's like a pocket of fluid on the like it's not like just normal swelling. They told me that it looks fine. My body should reabsorb it. Uh, if it gets any bigger, of course, let them know. So that they're not too concerned with, but she was concerned with the incision. So she told me today, she sent me an email. I sent her one last night. She sent one this morning. And she said, what I want you to do is take a shower. I want you to remove your tape a week early. And I want you to take a picture, clean it really good, see what it looks like, and then retape it guys it was a lot it took me probably you have to ask Briley I don't even know I felt like it took an hour to get the tape off I cried but I'm like peeling it from the side I can see it pulling my skin the incision and it's just looking all disgusting and I start crying I call Briley upstairs I'm like can you please just stand here and like just be my moral support you don't have to touch nothing just just stand in here you don't have to look I just want you here in case something goes wrong so I'm like freaking out thinking I'm gonna pull this tape and I'm just gonna bust wide open or something you know because it's scary it's just a scary feeling and I'm crying I'm like girl get it together so I started taking it off from this side and I start working my way towards the middle and there was it was scary along the way but everything was going well I get to the middle where that section is and when I start pulling that tape it is so wet underneath it and I was like crying again and brother said mama calm down it like the skin was opening it looked like my incision was open about this wide that section and I was like what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out, you know. So, Briley's like, let's take a picture. Let's do a video. She did a video of it. Took a picture. I cleaned it the best I could with just water and like a cotton ball because I didn't want to go crazy in that area. And then, um, patted it dry, let it dry real good, and then I put the tape back. Whew. So, I did all that. I haven't heard from them yet. They probably have emailed me, but I've been so busy, I've not looked at my phone. Because she told me, once I clean it, don't put the tape back on until she's seen the pictures. But, you guys, I could not wait. I just couldn't wait. I hope she don't say leave the tape off, let it air out more because I put the tape back on. I don't know if it's infected. I'm just waiting to hear back from them and see what they say. They might want to see me, maybe not. But yeah, so that's the update on me today. But I'm feeling good. I'm dressed. Um, and like I said, we have somewhere to go. Briley's getting ready to cook dinner here shortly. We're going to try to eat before Aiden's um, class considering Briley doesn't have 
soccer before we have a little extra time. But she's getting dressed. I'm getting ready to fill in the video so you guys have a video to watch today. Oh, and Aiden has got an audition. We're getting ready to film. And Bradley's going to help me with that before she starts cooking dinner. So I'll show you guys that. And also, I don't think I told you, Aiden booked a job. He booked a commercial. <sighs> Super exciting. We filmed that in like a couple weeks. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, he's going to be playing soccer in the commercial, which is so ironic because Bradley plays soccer. But anyway, um, yeah, fun, fun, fun. So stick around. We're getting ready to film this audition. I think that's the next thing we're going to be doing. Yeah, try them on, make sure they fit. Yeah. They're cool, man. Mm -hmm, I like these. Aiden wanted nice. some new shoes because they're going to start doing like workout type, pre-workout, pre-game. Should I wear stuff. these or my other ones for to go to a practice tonight? Which one should I wear? Oh, it's up to you, buddy. I don't care. How'd it fit? Good. Got plenty of room in them? It's so hard, you guys. Aiden's growing like a weed. So it's like really hard to keep up with like what size shoes he needs, what size this he needs. Like all his pants he just got at Christmas are already too short. I'm like, really? We just bought them. I mean, like he's living in his Christmas pajamas lately. Haven't you been? Yeah. Let me see, man. They look good. Mm -hmm, I like these. Yep. They're I nice. love them. Aiden said, film it, film it, film it. I just made it. Okay. Of course when the camera's off, I make it. Of course. For the three. Of course. Are you it's serious? How does that happen? Oh my god. Of course. Hold up, ready? Of course it's when the camera's off. You got it. Aiden. Are you serious? Turn around. Come on. Turn around. What? Turn around. You know your shirt's inside out, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, just checking on you. That is horrible. What is your deal? All right. We're you done. tried. We're done. We're done. We're done here. Just slam dunk it. You still miss. <laughs> what? How'd you still miss? <laughs> Aiden! What the heck's going on? He's just this one. <laughs> yes, finally. I'm over it. Hey, be careful. This thing is like scary. Oh, I did pretty decent. <laughs> Those pop up things are crazy. You might not have to move the mirror. If you shut the door, we might just lay right in front of it. It should be fine. Okay, getting ready to film this audition. Aid's getting dressed. Yeah, you can shut that. And then just if you could lay it over there and light a little crease of that doorway. Yeah. It should be fine. It should be fine. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. just finished up. Easy audition. Mm -hmm. It won't too bad. No. It's a lot of lines, but it won't that many lines, I yeah. guess. You know? Yeah. Something like that. I'm like, I'm good with like those long lines, but I'm bad with them at the same time. I get you. Like it takes a while to learn. Yeah. But, but you know, it's better to yeah. just say what you're feeling in the moment than worry about so much stick to the script. Yeah. They like and that. And like if you say something different. Oh, well. As long as it makes sense. Yeah, as long as, long as it goes with the lines, yeah. it works. Exactly. Yeah. All right, I'm going to edit your audition, get it yeah. uploaded, mm -hmm. and that's the next thing we're doing. All right. And what are you doing? I'm um, about to go play with Nolan and wait for dinner. Okay, enjoy. All right, love you. Love you. Sorry, guys. The lighting over here is terrible, so we're moving over here. I clicked the button on accident before I could even start filming. Wait, no. That made no sense. What? I clicked the button when I went to go move the camera over here. I didn't mean to start recording, but it already started recording, so we're just going to keep this clip. There we go. Anyways, so right now I'm currently downstairs. I'm cooking dinner for everybody tonight. I'm cooking earlier than normal because we have to leave tonight for Aiden Taki. I'm pretty sure mom's already told you that. I'm supposed to have soccer. I would have already left like 30 minutes ago, but soccer practice got canceled, so I am cooking dinner tonight. So, we are making, or I'm making lettuce wraps because it is a quick and easy meal to make and I'm pretty good at making it. 
This is frozen though, so I have to un I have to like defrost it and like freeze it so I can actually start cooking it. Okay, we did it. We did it, guys. Okay, so now we are letting our meat defrost, and then I'm gonna start cooking. So yeah, we're having lettuce wraps with rice. I already said the lettuce wrap part, but we're having rice with it, and yeah. So we should be eating very, very soon because this meal honestly does not take long. It is honestly a super easy meal, and I definitely recommend it. It's so, so good, and it's pretty healthy, actually. It's not, like, terrible for you. You know, you get your protein, and it's, like, with lettuce and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I love this meal. It's, like, my favorite to eat, and it's my favorite to cook because it's very simple and very, very easy. So, yeah. Anyways, cooking dinner for everyone. Mom's upstairs chilling, Aiden's in his room playing games, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, look who's in the driver's seat. Riley said, she said, it feels weird to be sitting over here. I said, I know, right? Now you see how I've been feeling lately because I feel like she's drove me everywhere. She's drove to do have, everything. I've drove like everywhere lately. She has. Um, I drove. Everything was good. Um, I'm not wearing the lap portion of my belt, so I buckle the seat and then I just pull the shoulder strap over because my stomach's still really tender. And like, I'm hurting so bad in my sides. Like, I don't know why I'm so sore today. I feel like I've literally worked out, but I didn't. Riley worked out last night, and I watched her, and I just did my, like, little walk around the room and little whatevers, but nothing unusual. I did a bunch of massage last night, though, so that could be why I'm really sore. Like, I was really massaging. I probably did overkill, but I was sore, so I was like, maybe that'll make it feel better, Now I think it's made it feel worse, but it's okay. Um, still super swollen today, especially my hips and stuff, but it's not too bad. Um, but I did drive here. It was not horrible. It felt better because I think being in control of the car, like if I went over a bump, I had the steering wheel to hold on to, whereas you're over here, there's, you know, nothing going on. So I do think that was a little improvement for driving. Um, I told Bradley, I'm probably gonna let her drive tomorrow though, because we got to go run a few errands tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna let her drive be easier. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it really wasn't terrible. Um, but I will tell you this. I just got out the car to make sure I was in the lines good at the back because I'm, kind of pulled in a parking spot and there's somebody pulling behind me and I couldn't stand up completely straight I'm really sore today and I hate that so much because I really wanted to get out the house today and just enjoy it and I'm like so sore I can't hardly stand up straight so it's still a process it's still a daily struggle sometimes and I'm struggling today kind of bad um but it's okay tomorrow we don't have a ton to do so I can rest more tomorrow definitely tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night I can kind of chill that's kind of my plan but I'm here. We're at hockey. Dad's already here. Um, he's inside. He's waiting on Aiden. I dropped him off at the door because he's got about 20 minutes to get dressed. I want him to have enough time. And me and Bradley decided to vlog for you guys and tell you guys what we're doing and where we're at. So that's what we're doing. Gonna go watch some hockey. guys we are officially home we stopped off and i got ice cream but look i told them i said can you put mine with a lid on it and she's like we don't have a lid that fits but i'll just put it in this cup and this is like the smartest thing wasn't it Bradley? yeah they put it in this and i was like yeah it's perfect because i didn't want to eat it until i got home but i did want to share with you guys what's going on with um kayla or not really, I should say Kayla, with Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn had started like having like a little snotty nose. Um, both of the twins had had snotty noses ever since coming out of the womb. Like they literally will sometimes like spit up and it'll come out their nose. Like their system's just not caught up yet to how it should work. Um, but it's getting better. It, sh it certainly is. But I know Kayla's had to like suck their noses for as long as I can remember because they just get so snotty sounding. So um, she said today was probably the worst day for it. 
um, Brooklyn was real snotty. And then she developed a little cough, and she started coughing today. And then as the day went on, it got worse. She's like, Mama, she called me earlier. She's like, Mama, do you think she's okay? Do you think she's got RSV or something like that? Because she was watching her, like, stomach and her chest area, and it did look like she was taking really hard breaths in. Like, she was sucking in really hard. Um, <clears throat> so I told Kayla, call the pediatrician, see what they recommend, and we'll go from there. And when she called, they said, immediately stop what you're doing and go to the emergency room. So that's what she did. So Kayla went to the ER, took Brooklyn, and um, they ended up sucking out her nose. And Kayla said, Mama, the stuff they got out of her nose on the left, I think she said the left side, unbelievable. It was a machine that sucked her nose. They said, after that, her breathing was like so much easier. She drank a five-ounce bottle. I mean, she hadn't really stopped eating or anything, but they didn't know what it was. So they got her nose sucked out just so she could breathe better. And then they ran a bunch of tests. Um, they ran a test for RSV, COVID, um, flu, and they tested for a few other things. I'm not really sure. Bronchitis. They were thinking it was bronchitis. Um, but everything came back negative. So anyway, they decided to let her go. Once they sucked her nose, all the tests came back negative. They felt confident let, letting her leave. Um, they said, just do saline drops, wait a couple minutes, and then do the suction. But they did say, with this type of virus she has, definitely ages two and under can catch it real easy. It's harder for us to catch it because our airways are so much wider and bigger. And normally our bodies can fight it off, they said. But my body probably wouldn't. I get sick of everything. They said if, like, we catch it, it would be, like, a sinus uh, infection. Yeah, kind of like a bad sinuses. It wouldn't be, like, what the babies have. It would be just, like, sinuses. Like, breathing difficulties and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, that's it, guys. We're going to end it here because I'm about to fall asleep talking to y'all. My battery just turned orange, so it's about to die. <laughs> but if you enjoyed our vlog today, hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next vlog.